Hello, we are Memphis Community University. Today we are continuing our intro to proof-based mathematics. Um, and then today's specific topic is an introduction to relations. So a relationship or a relation is what you might expect it to be. Um, basically, you have two elements and they are related in some sort of way. So in math, we have several potential relations that we can deal with. We can talk about inequalities like three is less than six. So that's how three and six are somewhat related. We have equality, four is equal to four. We have divisibility, five divides 15. Um, we have, and that sort of has a relationship. Five and 15 have a relationship or a relation because five divides 15. We have relations involving congruence of integers. For example, um, 21 equals uh, 31 mod 10. So 21 and 31 are inherently relatable in a certain way. So what we're going to do today is we are going to define rigorously what a relation is. And we're going to maybe draw a picture or use a picture to help us understand um, how relations work in mathematics. So first, let's define a relationship or a relation. So a relation on a set X is a subset of the Cartesian product of X with itself. So keep in mind, what are the elements of uh, this relation? So it's a relation R. So what is this? R consists of, it consists of elements where there's two points and the first point is an X and the second point is an X. So we say that A and B have the relation if A comma B is an R. Um, and we're gonna write um, A, R, B to show that A is related to B by this relation. And similarly, if A, B is not an R, that means that A and B don't hold the relation so that we're gonna write A not R, uh, B in this way. So again, basically, a, a relation is just um, a subset of the Cartesian product of a set with itself, where if an, if a coordinate points are in that set, that means that the two coordinates have that relation. So for example, we can just sort of verbally give off examples. So let's say we have our relation being same parity, then two comma four would be an R if that's what the relation is called. So because two and four have the same parity, uh, three and five would be an R. 5 and 3 would be an R, 3 and 3 would be R, an R. Something that wouldn't be an R would be, for example, 2 comma 3, because 2 comma and 2 and 3 don't have the same parity. Let's talk about um, division. So um, if, our relationship, or if our relation was just divides, then potential points in our relation would be uh, 3 comma 9, 3 divides 9, 5 comma 27, 5 comma 20, 5 comma 15, 5 comma negative 15. Uh, because 5 divides all those numbers. Um, so again, that means that 5 and 15 have the relation because 5 divides 15. But of course, like 15 doesn't divide 5, so 15 comma 5 would not be an R. So again, all R is, is it consists of points, and if, you ha if the points actually exist, that means that the relation holds in that direction from A to B. So keep in mind that sometimes uh, if A and B holds, maybe it's not true that B and A hold, B comma A holds. So for example, if the relation is less than uh, two, com two comma three would be in that relation because two is less than three, but three comma two would not be in that relation because three is not less than two. So just keep in mind that R consists of uh, coordinate points. And if you have A comma B, that means A uh, has the relation with B. And it might not be that B has the relationship uh, relation with A. So let's just deal with more concrete examples and smaller sets. So here, what we're going to do is we are going to start off with the set A. Uh, a is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to write out the relation R on A, and then we're going to try to draw a picture. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to draw an arrow. Uh, we'll do this later, of course. But we're going to draw an arrow if the, um, A comma B is in the relation, and the arrow will be from A to B. Uh, the direction of the arrow matters because, again, um, sometimes the re relation is not symmetric. So what we're going to do is we're going to first write out the relation. So we're going to write R. So remember that R is going to be consisting of elements. And what are the elements look like? They are going to be coordinate pairs where the first coordinate and the second coordinate are both in A. And the a pair exists in R. A pair is an element of R if um, X comma Y holds for the relation. So for example, let's take one. Well, one comma one is going to be in the relation because one is less than or equal to one. And for example, one comma two is in the relation. One comma three is in the relation. One comma four is in the relation. B 
because um, one is less than or equal to two, one is less than or equal to three, one is less than or equal to four. So what we say is uh, maybe one R uh, two, one relation two, one relation three, one relation four, because the relation holds in this direction, one to four. Uh, this is, of course, not all of the coordinate points. Um, if we start off with two as the first coordinate, well, we can choose two, two, because two is less than or equal to two. Uh, two is less than or equal to three. So hopefully this, even if we're writing this sort of rigorously, you sort of understand the idea of what a relation is. It's just basically coordinate points um, of the set a where both elements both elements or both coordinates are elements of a and the your in the set are if the relation holds on that point so for example uh let's finish this off three three would be in this um three four wouldn't be in this because three is less than or equal to four and then finally four four would be in this so this is our relation so again your in this set are if the first coordinate is less than or equal to the second coordinate and uh, 1, R1, 1, R2, 1, R3, 1, R4, and so on. Um, keep in mind that elements that are not in this uh, relation are, for example, 4, 1, because 4 is not less than or equal to 1, or 3, 2, because 3 is not less than or equal to 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to illustrate this using a diagram. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a similar diagram to this. Basically, um, we list out the points of A first, so that's going to be with dots. So this is going to be 1, 2, uh, 3, and 4. It doesn't really matter um, where the dots are. What's important are the arrows because the arrows will signify the relation. So we draw an arrow where the um, tail of the arrow will be the first coordinate and the head of the arrow will be the second coordinate. So for example, if you take 1, 2, we're going to draw something like this because the relation holds 1, 2. Notice that we're not drawing 2, 1 because the arrow doesn't go this way as well. So that's why we draw 1, 2. Same thing, we're going to draw 1, 3 and 1, 4 because uh, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 are all in R. Uh, 1, 1 is also in R, so we're going to draw a little loop here. So an arrow starting at 1 and ending at 1. So this is my relation right here for the first four elements. And then we're going to finish it off with drawing more arrows. Looks like we're going to have 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. So everything will have a loop. And this is because equal is part of the relation. And then we're going to finish off the uh, non-loop, so it's going to be 2 to 3. So we're going to draw an arrow to 2 to 3. It's okay if it crosses, because again, the only important thing is what, where are the arrows starting off and where are the arrows ending up. So 2, 4, uh, 3, 3 is 1, and then finally 3, 4. So we have this. Um, if you change the relation, obviously the coordinate points that are in the relation will change, and also the arrows. So for example, if you change this to just less than, uh, you wouldn't have any of the loops because you would just um, no longer have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 because 3 wouldn't be less than 3. But hopefully that makes sense of what a relation is. It's just what you think it is. If the relation holds between two elements, that means that um, the a, cor a, pair, a coordinate pair or a point with two coordinates where uh, it's x, comma, y would hold if x relation y. Um, so let's just sort of go backwards now with this guy right here. So now we're starting off with a graph or a diagram, and then we're going to try to write out the set A and also the relation. So this is pretty easy. Uh, what we're going to do is, what is first the elements of A? Well, the elements of A are just going to be the dots. It's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's what A is. So then what is R? R will consist of um, n tuple or two, two tuples, meaning... Um, coordinate pairs with two coordinates and the first coordinate will be an A and the second coordinate will be an A and it will be an R if there's an arrow X and X comma Y will be an R if there's an arrow where X is the tail and Y is the head so in this case uh, we're just going to have to account for each of these arrows so it shouldn't be too bad of a process all we're doing is just looking at arrows so in this case first off this first arrow uh, notice that it's going starting from zero going to one that means that 0, 1 holds in our relation. Uh, we can do other ones. Uh, for example, 1, 3, uh, 4, 0. So 1, 3, 4, 0. Um, and then so these were these three arrows. So let's keep going. We have 1, 5. So notice that these arrows, um, one's going from starting from two, going to four, and one's going from four to starting to two. And that's okay. That just means that two comma four and four comma two will be in this relation. 
So we have two, four, we have four, two. Then uh, we have two loops. So that means that um, two, two will be in this um, relation because we're starting at two uh, ending up with two. This is an arrow, by the way. Sorry, my picture's bad. And then finally, four, four will also be in this relation. So hopefully you understand what relations are. They're just subsets of the Cartesian product where you're in the relation if x, y is in the relation or a, b is in the relation if um, the relation holds on a, b or the relation holds on x, y. So um, not the longest video in the world. Let's just deal with one more question, which is um, how many relations can you have on a set A? Uh, so in this case, we have um, A is equal to A, B, C, D, E. So it might be, a. Uh, hopefully you see that it's a really big number. So for example, our relation could just be the point A, A, or the relation could be A comma B, A comma C, and then D, E. And then you have sort of this entire idea. So actually, this is going to be a pretty giant number, if you can imagine. Um, so let's just think about what it's going to be. So first off, what we need to think about is what are the number of possible coordinate points um, in our relation? Uh, so let's think about that. So if we have five elements and then there's two pairs, then what, sh what we're trying to think about is how many coordinate points can we have? So um, because there's... so. Basically, we're trying to think about how many uh, elements of this form x comma y are there that are possible. So how many choices are there for x? Well, there's going to be five choices for x. So note, there are five choices for x. And similarly, there are five choices for y. Uh, because um, y can be a, b, c, d, and e. So there are five choices for y as well. So we haven't done this in a while, but using we're sort of counting lists where the list is uh, the first element can be that's a two letter list where the first element can be an A and the second element can also be an A. So how, there's five choices for the first element and there's five choices for the second element. So how many choices are there for uh, how many points are there? Well, there's going to be 25 points by the multiplication property. So there's going to be 25 possible um, X, Y in this relation, where x is an a and also y is an a. So now what we need to think about is we need to think about, well, how many possible relations are there on uh, a? So what we want to think about is basically um, for every single one of these points, a, a, b, 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 c, d, c, d, e, e, a, whatever, we need to think about whether R has that point. So the answer to this question is going to be 2 to the 25, which is a massive number. And why is this true? Well, for every single one of the coordinate points, either the point is in there or the point is not in there. So if you want, you can think about uh, 25 light switches and you turn them on or turn them off. And if it's turned on, that means that this that point is in the relation. If it's turned off, that means that point is not in the relation. And uh, this is, again, by the multiplication property. Remember that counting is hard when we co uh, covered counting, but what you can think about this as, as 25, a 25 letter word. So like 25 letters, one, two, three, five, and then all the way down. So we're going to skip through some, of course. And then you can, uh, the possible letter choices are yes or no. Yes or no, yes or no, whatever. And then for each of these, what do they represent? And that represents whether a certain point is in the relation. So for example, in this case, it could be A comma A, it could be A comma B, A comma C, A comma D, A comma E, and so on. So you have 25 of these guys. And then how many sort of words are there in this way? If you have 25 letters, two choices for each one, that's going to be by the multiplication property 2 to the 25th because it's 2 times 2 times 2 all the way to 25. So as you can imagine, even in this small set of five elements, we can form a very, a huge number of relations on them. So um, that's sort of an interesting fact. Well, and that's 
Um, but think, keep in mind that some of the relations are sort of useless. There's not anything really interesting about them. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to talk about interesting relations. And what are interesting relations? Well, we're going to first define properties on these relations. So this is a preview of the next video. But the three properties we're going to be looking at are going to be symmetric, transitive, and reflexive. So there's going to be three properties. And we're going to see if um, certain relations have those three properties. And if they have... If the relation has all three of those properties, those are the most interesting relations. Those are the relations that we can best deal with, and those are going to be called equivalence relations. So be on the lookout for that. This has been a shorter video. Hopefully you understand what a relation is. Basically, what it is is um, a relation holds, or sorry, a relation holds on a point x comma y if, oh, sorry, uh, let me re rephrase this. x comma y is in the relation if x if the relation holds on x to y. So again, uh, just keep in mind, the best example was our less than or equal to example. So for example, two comma three was in this relation because two is less than or equal to three and so on. So hopefully you understand what a relation is. It's just a how you take two elements and you wanna see how they're related. If they are related, that means that they are in the relation and the relation is a subset of the Cartesian product. Might not have explained this super well, but hopefully you understand sort of the sense of relation. Um, if you want to deal with relations more and if you want to talk about the properties of relations, uh, be sure to check out our next video. But until then, thanks again for watching and goodbye.